Between January 7 and 31, 2025, a series of wildfires left a large portion of Southern California in ashes. This was reported as one of the most devastating wildfire events in the state's history. In this video, based on these events, we are going to analyze the before and after conditions of the burned areas using Sentinel-2 imagery. Without further delay, let's jump into the video. Let's start the video on the Copernicus browser website where we will proceed to download our images. In the search bar we select Sentinel-2 and adjust the slider that refers to cloud coverage. I'm going to set it to 6%, the lower this value is, the better the quality of the images will be. Next we just need to select the desired date range and download the images. If you're not sure how to download them, simply visit the channel and watch this video uh, here, where I explain all the steps in detail. Now moving on to ArcGIS Pro, I already have the images I'll be using. I have one image from before the wildfire event, taken on January 2nd, and another one right after, from February 1st. For this exercise, we'll be working with bands B08 and B12. To access these images, simply go to your download folder, open the granule folder, then image data, and choose the band you need. Finally, I also have the shapefile of the burn area perimeters imported here, which I download from the California State Geo Portal. So, how are we going to calculate the NBR for these two moments and compare the burn areas? At the top ribbon, we go to the Analysis tab. Then, in the Tools section, we click on this small arrow right here and search for Raster Calculator. Let's open the Raster Calculator tool and starting with the image from January 2nd, we are going to define the following expression. So we start by opening parentheses, double click on the band 8, then we give a space and a minus and we subtract to the band 12, close parenthesis, divide, open parenthesis again, select the band 8, always for, from January 2nd, and then we sum this to the band 12. Close parenthesis, we choose a location to save this this new file, I will call this nbr underscore 2 underscore January, let's click save and then run. It looks like we have an error in our expression, let me check what went wrong. The error is right here at the end, I accidentally placed the closing parenthesis in the middle of the expression instead at the end, so let me just correct this and place it here, and now if we click run, it should work. We already have the first result, just a reminder, this image is from January 2nd, which means the wildfires only started happening after January 7th. Let's now do the same exercise for the images from uh, February 1st, uh, that is right after the end of this event. Once again we open parentheses and select band number 8, but now uh, for uh, February 1st, minus band 12, close parentheses, divide, open parentheses, and then band 8 plus, plus uh, band 12, close parentheses, and once again choose a location to save this file. I will rename this as NBR February, so parameter is missing, so I think the name of the output is too large, 
this uh, often happens in raster files let me see okay maybe we need to remove some letters let's try this okay now it should work let me just move this new element down and I will change the symbology to shades of green for positive values and red for negative ones. So click here on this symbology bar, click on color scheme, format color scheme and change these two values. This for green and this for red and click OK. Here we have the first result. On its own we can't draw many conclusions regarding these wildfires, however once we have both images in the same symbology we will be able to identify which areas shift from a positive NBR to a negative NBR and that's what really matters for this analysis. So let's change the symbology for the second image. So this first one will be green and this one will be red. I'm going to remove the color from the burn area perimeters and we will be able to see that these perimeters will match the before and after patterns uh, for the wildfires. So let me just set this as no color, increase the outline color to black and click apply. So this is the before. If we select the NBR to January and go to raster layer right at the top. We can select this swipe and see the before and after. So we clearly see the color change in this perimeter. This one as well. And this one. That's all for today's video, I hope you found it interesting. In the next one we will take this analysis even further as we will calculate the difference normalized burn ratio, the NBR in QGIS. Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment what you want to learn next.